Namaste and welcome. My name is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I welcome you. And to all my beautiful existing subscribers, thank you. Big hugs, hugs, hugs. And lots of love to you. Thank you for your beautiful energy. Thank you for being a part of this community, your donations, your beautiful, beautiful vibes that you send my way and all the one-on-ones that we have, all the group sessions that we take. I absolutely love connecting with you all. Thank you. So this is the video, if you're coming here for the first time, this is a, a tarot reading that I'll be doing in this video about the big blessings that are ready to manifest in your life. I had done a video which I posted last week on Wednesday. If you want to look at that, that would kind of set the tone for what are the signs and what was spirit showing in what is ready to manifest. So the key message from that, and which is what we are taking off in this reading, is that there are some big blessings that are ready to manifest in your life the big blessings of material wealth, material security, material success. So what I am going to look at in this video, in this tarot reading, is going to be what are the messages coming from spirit for you as these blessings are ready to manifest and they're right at your doorstep, right? We talked about the Porsches and we talked about the Teslas. So what as these blessings are ready they're right there in your energy field what is it that you need to learn to know to keep in mind spiritually mentally emotionally and on a physical level to be able to receive these blessings okay so that is the purpose of this reading let's start First, we will look at the first system, which is a spiritual. Everything, every manifestation begins in the spiritual realm. So let's take messages from your spirit guides, from your guides, from your higher self, and what you need to know in your own spiritual energy what will support you during this time. What will support the people spiritually in this time? What will support the people spiritually in this time? What will support the people spiritually at this time? What will support the people spiritually at this time? What will support the people spiritually at this time? Let's get all the spiritual messages first, then I'll go into the reading. What will support the people spiritually at this time? Thank you. What will support the people spiritually at this time to receive these big blessings? What will support the people spiritually at this time? Oh, I'll just take this one, angels. Let me look at the energies first. Hmm. Thank you, Angels. 
So what's going to support you to open your arms to receive these big blessings of material wealth that's ready to manifest? It's not something out there a million years from now, 20 years from now. It's right there at your doorstep. Okay, very close to you. I want to begin with this one. We got the card of orphaned and we got the divine healers for the shadow. I want to start with the orphan energy. This is speaking of and the number five. So if you've been seeing the numbers five, 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 that is for sure a message that's coming in that there's a big change that's taking place in your life. And with the blue, which is our throat chakra, which again speaks of is number five. So what I'm picking up over here is that spirit is saying that where you felt like you're all alone, you don't have enough. OK, you're like orphaned. You could be literally an orphan or feel like you always are abandoned and that there's no support around you. So an orphan is um, when I'm looking at the technicality of that, right? Like no parents, no, no mother mothering element and no fathering element, meaning Mothering element is that of na of natural care, support, okay? So the mother, that's what the mother represents. And the father is the protector, guide, uh, the one who guides you to take action. You've had to fend for yourself. You had to find your way. And it looked like there was a lot of dark night of the soul, okay? There's a lot of fogginess. It was very unclear. The path was absolutely dark and you couldn't see it. When I say a dark path does not mean you went down a dark path. Could be for some of you. But what it means is that you absolutely felt like there was fogginess and there was not much clarity. Okay, So you really felt alone. You really felt alone and did not feel supported. So spirit over here is saying that was all part of what we call as the shadow, right? There's the light and then there's the dark. I have a black tablecloth and I'll be working very soon with something that's in white. OK, so we have like two aspects of um, our whole universe, right? Uh, the polarities, the light and the dark. OK, so this was a part of your learning so you could rely on your own self. Because with that orphaned energy, we have this helper of thought, which is our mental energy. Okay, so I saw the owl here. You've gained a lot of wisdom. Okay, you've gained a lot of strength. Okay, um, you may just be at a stage where you are just about getting the reins of your mind, just about getting the reins on thinking positively right? So your life is about to start moving at a very fast pace is what Spirit is saying. Events that seem to have uh, been held on are suddenly going to require attention. So there's going to be a lot of movement. Okay. So there's going to be no time to sit down and ponder of the past of what, what, what happened in the past. You've got to get moving. Okay. That's another message that's coming in. Okay. And I feel what Spirit is saying is there's someone new entering your life. Okay, this person is going to be entering your your life. And this person is someone who has a sharp mind. Okay, I got the king of forces and I have this helper of thought here. So there's somebody who definitely sees value in your ideas, in who you are, what you bring to the table. Whether this relates to relationships, whether this relates to a job, whether this relates to your own company or a business that you're setting up. OK, so I do feel that uh, this is the time where you're going to be gathering in your courage. You're gathering in your troops, inner troops, OK, the inner warrior. And you're going to take charge of your mental energy because this is all taking place in the spiritual, your spiritual energy. So this is. What I'm bringing forth is a message coming from your spirit guides to help you to learn and master these spiritual lessons. These are spiritual lessons. And as you're mastering and taking reign of the spiritual energy, we'll move into the next system on what you can do, what you can expect that's going on in your mindset and then in your emotional body. And then what takes place in the physicality, what you see in the reality right here 
only takes place after the energy has sifted and come down from the spiritual realm and what you see in the physicality through these systems okay so there's definitely that you've been clearing a lot there's been uh, you're being helped during this shadow work that you were doing okay so there have been a divine healers helping you to heal your heart where you felt abandoned where you felt alone where you felt uh, not respected not appreciated not supported Okay, that's all shadow work with the energy of five here and two five here. You may be seeing the number I told you five 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 or two five five or five two five. Okay, those are big numbers that are coming up for you. Those have been your divine synchronicities, um, messages coming from your spirit to tell you that something big is ready to manifest in your life. Okay, so at this point, what, what you're being reminded is to surrender to the journey and let go of control. It says here, release control. So with the release control, we got the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles sometimes is when you're holding on, okay? Holding, I'm seeing the energy that is closed. Please look at the, look at the imagery if you can. Okay, the person is shrouded, okay? My energy is closed right now. Four of, um, four of earth is the energy in, in traditional tarot. The energy is you're holding on to, to everything that you have. Okay. Holding on to my life, my values, my heart. I don't want to be heard. Uh, the, the world has not been supported. It's, so it's closed energy. So here spirit is saying release control. And in this particular deck, I love that. Okay. This is the good tarot. It says here four of earth and look at, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this girl over here is releasing almost as if there is a, um, it, she's releasing it. She's opening it and there's a butterfly here and butterflies represent transformation. So spirit is saying that this has been your lonesome journey for a reason. Okay, now what's going to happen is just let go of control. Let go of the story that happened. Honor the story. Honor your past. Honor what you had to go through. Appreciate it. Acknowledge that there was loss. Acknowledge that. You go through that process of emotional clearing. We'll look at what's taking place in the emotions. But now in the spiritual energy, this is a lesson that you're a spiritual warrior. Okay, you are here on the path of spiritual evolution. That's why you incarnated on earth. All right. So this was a part of your lesson and you're learning to rely on yourself and connect with the divine energy, with the divinity within you and with the oneness, with God's source. Now, you're never orphaned, right? You're always connected to the God source. So this was part of your learning lesson. So release the control and surrender to what is opening up. Let that pass go. With the waters, this seems like calm waters, which seems like bringing healing in. This is again our energy of throat chakra and it talks about being honest, being truthful. Yes, that happened. Yes, I acted out of integrity. Yes, I was angry. Yes, I was deceptive. Yes, I was deceived. Yes, I was taken advantage of. Yes, I took advantage of others. Whatever the situation is, you have to be honest with yourself. This is a self-reflective energy. So this is where at the spiritual level, when we are learning, okay, I'm learning to drive. Like, all right, I can't just say, oh, I was just driving fine and every person else on the freeway or on the road was just doing the wrong thing. Own up. That's responsibility that yes, but not from a place of judgment. It's saying you're, you're healing that part. Be open in your communication. Be, be authentic in your communication. That's important. Okay. Um, yes, I was learning. I was in my shadow. I acted out of integrity. I was not, I was not speaking honestly. I didn't want to get hurt. So I lied. You don't have to say it to anybody else. Say it to yourself, but without judgment. Now, what, what do I want to do? That was part of the story. Let me honor myself there. That's all I knew. I'm a different person now. I have learned some difficult and different lessons. And with these learnings, I can now shed light to that part. That story, I honor myself. That's the best I could do at that time. That's wonderful. What have we learned? What have we gained? That's what this card talks about. Be sincere. Be sincere in any approach because after the spiritual, the spiritual body, 
this is our spiritual system right below the spiritual system comes everything begins with thought okay you will then i will look at now the mental energy right what is what is taking place in the mental energy what what will support you so this is talking about having truthful communication so having truthful thoughts being sincere in your thinking putting out the words not that people are not supportive life is sucks nothing happens good good happens in life there's so much i have to work hard there's so much of that okay uh take charge of your mind take charge of your life in the now that this was part of the lesson because the king of forces again shows the masculine energy and shows someone who is in charge okay and i do feel another message that's coming is what will support you is to really connect with the different elements the air element the earth element the water element right the uh, and the fire element however whether it's through rituals whether it's through having uh, that present like when i begin this when i begin a reading there's the breeze i put in an intention i do a prayer and meditation before i start i'm connecting with the spiritual realm i'm connecting with the air clearing my thoughts i burn sage to tap into the energy of fire okay and then i have the physicality here and i'm feeling what i'm feeling in my emotions okay so i take a sip of water or drink a glass of water to connect with the water element so i consciously connect with all the elements before i come forth in any reading any reading okay so i'm simply feeling over here that your spirit guides are saying to connect with nature to connect with the elements especially okay also pay attention to your spirit uh animals i do feel that there's spirit animals that are speaking to you so see what they are connect with that and they're guiding you look it up so if let's say a wolf comes in or a deer comes in a stag or uh you know just just any any other animal owl okay maybe just dif different symbols that come from different people if you don't know the symbolism look it up because that's how spirit is communicating with you okay healing is coming to you and this is how you're growing stronger here's this little baby holding the heart where it was hurt and now this person is strong that's your higher self you've grown stronger and stronger through all of these difficulties okay so you're holding the key to this honest communication now another message is friendship and gratitude let us be grateful for the people who make us happy they are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom i love that tulip maybe you like tulips so the message here from spirit is that connect with friends okay the ones who make you happy okay the one there is drama filled we're not talking about the drama filled we're talking about uplifting friends spend time with them right spend time with them and also with the gratitude that came up in that message that i posted which is connected to this reading right is gratitude have a gratitude list which is going to support you be grateful for what you have and grateful for all the things the journey being honest and shedding love and light to the past self of yours not judging the past self not judging how you took actions or why you didn't take actions you did the best at that time and it's through these uh hits and misses right you know you you get some you lose some you you win some you lose some and it's through that learning you develop mastery and you are developing mastery is what i'm seeing so now i will clear this and we will look at what spirit has messages for your mental body for your mindset what is it that you need to know that will support you to open the doors to this beautiful material wealth that is sitting right outside so we'll have a look at that let's explore the mental body your mind your thoughts what does spirit have as messages for you that's going to support you the kind of thoughts to have the kind of mindset to have to open the gates to manifestation to open these gates of material wealth that's sitting right outside that's ready to manifest so during this period because i did not ask when it is manifesting but it's not manifesting like i said a million years from now or 20 years from now it's happening now which means it's happening very soon now during this period of very soon that's what we are looking at so let's look at the mental energy we're going to work with this deck this is the transparent tarot what mental thoughts mental mindset do the people need 
that will support this journey at this time angels one two let me put these first Okay, yep, getting the message, clear, clear, clear. Oh gosh, where's the five? There's another five, did we not talk about the five? Yes is the five. And this is going to go here. What is this? Q. What is this? The moon. Yes, that's the moon. Thank you. So mindset, first three energies are all in the spiritual energy, which is the fire element. Do connect with the fire element. Okay, so it's talking about we got the page of wands, the queen of wands and the nine of wands. Let's talk about these three first. Okay, so it's talking about in your mind. I'm seeing a child over here, right? So they're showing like a child here. You see that page of wands? That's like a child taking a small step forward. So the key over here, the message that I'm getting is that you need to, in your mind, with a growth mindset, take small steps, be very curious, be very childlike about your approach in life, um, be very, uh, follow your inspiration, follow your heart, because the page of pentacle, the page of uh, wands is someone who is, um, is very curious, is ready to explore, is ready to start something new, very childlike energy. So it's important for you in your mind, because this has not come up in the physicality. So in the mindset, be curious like a child, like, hmm, I wonder, I wonder where I feel like going today. What should we do today? That is going to be exciting. That's going to be fun. Where am I drawn to? Um, you know what? I'm guided to do this right now. Or I'm feeling like called to do this right now. Whatever your process is, whatever you say to yourself to come up to that point, take these small steps because these are your heart's desires. And as your heart's desire is guiding you to it's giving the signal to the mind your heart's desire your soul's desire is giving you the signal to the mind to take this step let's go uh, to that fundraiser or let's go and volunteer over there or let's go for that marathon or let's go this I'm, I'm just throwing some stuff out there whatever that may be let's go there okay so follow that pattern okay that's important second is we got the queen of wands so what I'm seeing over here is there may be some challenges that you may be experiencing in your life. Do you see? There seem to be two people facing away from one another. So to me, this is feeling like mental battle. Like, hey, who's the bigger one here? Not a bigger person. Who is more in control? Me or you? Me or you? So I don't have to see the swords, which is what I'm seeing over there, but I do feel that they have been in the past some battle of the swords battle of um this is what i need to do i'm not sure how i'm going to do it i don't feel worthy okay another part that i'm feeling is your this sense of worthiness like i feel like a child uh meaning like i don't have enough skills i don't have enough that it's a mindset so come from a place of authority meaning inner authority that have faith in your own abilities. That's what the queen of wands is. Someone who is secure, someone who has the confidence. So this self-confidence doesn't come from how many degrees you have or how many, uh, you know, uh, projects you have nailed down or how many, you know, accolades you've got. It's an inner authority. So my message that's coming over here big from your guides is inner authority. 
inner strength, inner confidence. Okay, so this talks about to me, this is feeling like big self esteem. So draw your self esteem, not from external. Give yourself the kudos. The queen of wands is someone who is intuitive, listens to the heart's desire, follows through with a passion, taking one step at a time and then following through. Meaning no matter what the journey seems like, no matter what the difficulty is, I sh we shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome. I think that was a song that's coming to me or a hymn. Okay, so I do feel that. All right. The nine of wands definitely feels like over exertion in the mind. Nines are about learnings. I did a I did a reading about the nine nine. So maybe that may be something. There may be some messages there for you. The nines are about completions. The nines are about learnings, about understanding, about closures, about endings. OK, because that 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 um, wealth is right outside the door ready to come inside but this is what's what's needed what's you are processing right now which will help when you open the door for that floodgates to come in right so don't give up on your journey stand for what you believe in because what you wanted you know maybe as a child another message that's coming is maybe when you were a kid there was something that you had wanted to do OK, I am seeing that when I'm seeing all the three wands together, I am seeing a child not giving up on their dream. OK, so I do feel that there is a dream that you had in your heart. There's something that you wanted to do uh, for a very long time and uh, it got kind of hidden and now it's ready to come forth. Like so that, that I'm seeing that smile on this queen of wands. She's like so excited. Like I'm ready to stake this. This is my ground. This is like I'm staking my claim here. So in your mindset, have a winning attitude. Of course, it will happen. Of course, I will do it. And I don't mean it from a cocky place, but I mean it from a self-confidence place where your mind may want to take you because we got the seven of swords may want to take you to run away our self-sabotage for the things that have not taken place and self-sabotage by saying like oh my god this just seems like a crazy ass amount of work i can't do it or i've been on this path for so long and now archana is saying all these things are coming blah this is not happening you've already closed the energy remember i showed you in the spiritual energy closed energy the energy of that abandonment right where you felt like abandoned be truthful in your communication queen of wands will stand up for what he or she believes in I don't care. I'm not hurting anybody. This is what I believe in. This is what I stand for. This is what I'm going to do. You may not like it. And, you know, family members may not like it. Uh, friends may not like it. You know, uh, other people may not like it. You want to start a new job or you want to completely switch careers. You want to end a relationship and, you know, move into a new relationship. No, 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 don't do it. When people themselves cannot change or they're afraid of something new and they watch someone else do that, what happens is it kind of triggers a a false alarm in them or it triggers an alarm in them like oh my god if they change meaning i also must reach my higher potential so don't allow and don't self-sabotage okay so the highest part over here is you're overcoming these mental past mental self-sabotaging limiting beliefs so don't let the limiting beliefs of the past stop you from achieving your dreams and opening your heart up to receive this abundance okay so we got the eight of pentacles keep working keep working hard i love this look at that this is as if you know i'm seeing the angel right like the angel is is guiding you your angels and guides are guiding you to keep you know yay keep getting excited keep moving forward with excitement so have excitement in your mindset and just say, I'm working one step at a time. Okay, I'm working one step at a time. And with the Queen of Wands, we got the Hierophant. And in this particular deck with the with the Terror, they're showing a tree. Do you see this? A big oak tree. Okay, so there's a lot of growth, a lot of learning. Okay, spiritual learning. I, I, I'm a psychic channeler, right? I, I say that many times to remind myself also. Uh, I'm reminding myself, like Archana, you're a psychic channeler. And I did say about connecting with the elements. And I was feeling like the trees because I was seeing the trees here. If I didn't say it, that's what I wanted to say. With the trees, connect definitely with the element of earth. Okay, that's a, another message. When you connect in earth, 
you're connecting with the, the with the vastness with the mothering element which will help you to release those abandonment issues it will help you okay because you're 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 connecting to the mother element of the universe okay this will give you and propel you to take the courageous steps to be courageous okay that's another word that's coming be courageous in your mind to speak your mind's truth okay but over here it is also talking about with the mindset that be loving we got the queen of cups here with the queen of cups and the nine of wands over here it is to offer understanding to others while not giving up okay i love that while not giving up on your dreams i love that okay so those fears you're going to put those fears to rest with this moon energy. It is simply here to help you to see the fears. Remember that um, your fears are bigger in your mind than they actually are. Okay, so your mind can over exaggerate the fears. So remember that that's a message for your mental energy that you're opening your psychic third eye over here because over here they're showing the feminine and they're showing the eye that's open. You're looking at and being honest, being honest, being transparent about the things you did in the past, which were OK, which which took you down another path. OK, took me down that path. What did I learn from it? shifting of the mindset i'm not gonna give up i'm courageous if this is happening and i am changing one step at a time i'm getting stronger and stronger and stronger one step at a time let me see what happens when i put everything together oh this was here then this then this then this let me see here yeah, so the biggest thing to me, this is feeling like this child, the inner child in you is pushing through all fears. All these distorted versions of this reality are dropping. And I'm seeing you grow in your spiritual energy, in your emotional strength. Okay, so because you're growing in the emotional energy and in that fire element, right? Your spiritual fire, the spiritual fire and the emotional. So spirit, spiritual fire, mental energy, emotional energy, then physical. So you are strengthening the emotional energy. You're strengthening the spiritual energy. These two energies together are having a great impact on your mental thought patterns. And now your mental thought patterns are coming to a better brighter more positive place so keep those vibrations high okay so now we shall look at i'm going to close this down I'll, I'll leave it open there and we will look at the emotional energy all right we are now looking at the emotional energy now before i begin i just realized um, as I was getting our decks ready here is I chose um, after a long time my transparent tarot deck okay and the card we got over here with honesty in the spiritual energy it's a truth transparency hmm. right transparency so transparency is um, a message that was coming before I get into the emotional energy is really to be honest with your communication and how you talk right because this is in the spiritual energy so how you communicate with others okay be open be loving be kind but where you need to stake your ground you stake your claim okay that's what the queen of wands is she doesn't back down but there's also the queen of cups both the queens are there whether you're male or female so you're tapping into the fire Okay, the fire element and you're also tapping into the divine feminine energy of the softness of kindness so you have through these past experiences perhaps there was an distorted masculine energy or a distorted feminine energy and you are learning and gaining a lot more of understanding and uh, what you're being guided is during this period of when it's ready to manifest we are surrendering control of when it's manifesting just know that it is manifesting don't add doubt that is what i had said in that video it stands here because it's this is a flow overflow of that video okay um and uh, so continue to pour love into yourself and into anything that you do okay things that you do do them with love but honor yourself stake your ground where you need to and follow your um, 
follow the bliss follow your inspirational guidance on where your inner child wants to take you all right now let's look at the emotional energy what will support you um, where you should have your emotional energy at which will support the manifestation of this beautiful material wealth and big blessings just abundantly flowing in into your life flow hmm. i said that on purpose or it was channeled uh, flow is the energy of the divine feminine and emotions are the home of the divine feminine energy so whether you're male or female your emotional energy let's have a look at that what will support you during this time I will support the people. Oh, I'm taking two. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I will support the people emotionally during this time, angels. will support the people emotionally at this time thank you angels I will support the people emotionally at this time thank you funny angels I think it's funny of course it's not funny meaning synchronicities right here I did talk about a lot of the fives right so you're definitely seeing a lot of fives and in this particular deck this is card number 50 five zero uh, oh let me make it a little bit darker so you can see it right angel of strength so in your emotional energy what I'm feeling is that um, Angels are saying to uh, release the past guilt and blame that you have. You're holding on to some guilt, some of the things that you said or some of the things that you didn't say, some of the things um, in the past that have taken place you blamed, right? I talked about that. We are blaming others. So um, you are now taming the beast, okay? With softness, with gentleness, the Queen of Cups. This is your angelic your own angelic presence is giving you that love so in your emotions be soft and gentle when the energy of blame arises when the energy of um, comparison arises when the energy of unworthiness arises when the, any of those lower uh, lower energies which are dense energies rather than low and high I want to call them dense and light so the denser energies of resentment of anger of hate of jealousy of um, feelings of loneliness sadness all those are dense energies so when the these dense energies come you're taming the beast by not being angry and not shoving it under the rug you're owning up you're acknowledging you're accepting you're accepting and honoring that part of your journey you're honoring that part of you that was there at a certain place right with uh, and certain things materialized because of that um, so spirit is just guiding you that you are strong you're emotionally strong and this process is making you a master this process that has taken place is helping you to gain mastery of your own self and of your emotions and another message is that the angel of strength is supporting you is guiding you um, again it could be in form of an animal spirit guide who's giving you that support okay um, I'm picking that up I'm picking up animal support okay so your animal uh, guide um, for many of you I'm definitely feeling that they're supporting you during this period during this process of healing during this process of opening your arms to receive okay then we got the energy again a spiritual number number 17 which is the energy of action you see a white horse and a black horse again we're talking about the masculine and the feminine energy and here uh, it's talking about um, when I'm picking up on the emotional energy what spirit is saying that you are now learning where you were once lagging behind where things were not moving remember we got that knight of swords energy here 
uh, where we got like things are going to start. Your life is about to start moving very fast. There's the action here. So when the action comes in, one of the key messages that's coming over here is that perhaps in the past you felt manipulated by people uh, where you felt controlled. Right. So here we're talking about maybe you you created a life where you wanted all things to be under control. So you became quite controlling about your life, about your emotions, about not being able to express your emotions. To me, this is also almost as if like freeing your emotions. Does it mean like, OK, you're just going to blast off when you're angry or blast off that? No, in a controlled environment, you understand what I'm talking about. Right. When I'm talking about freeing your emotions, not suppressing them, honoring the emotions. That's where the angel of strength is guiding you and helping you. And we're getting like the regret energy. So you're releasing a regret of what took place in the past, what didn't take place in the past. And now you're taking, you're ready to take action. Let me just fix the lighting a little bit. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, and uh, I'm feeling in your emotions, you are now releasing this energy where you felt like you were manipulated, right? Because you were um, looking and perhaps searching for love. You were searching for uh, camaraderie. You were searching for friendships. You were searching for help and support. And you felt abandoned. You felt people took care. People took advantage of you. You felt orphaned, right? And you felt like maybe perhaps people manipulated you. Now you're releasing that the thing of the past yeah the divine healers are there there is truthful and honesty of what the situation has been of the past and and it's simply saying that you're also getting stronger in your own masculine energy where at the beginning maybe earlier you were not able to draw those boundaries and now they were porous boundaries people coming in and out and you know walking over you now you're strengthening yourself you're strengthening your spirit you're strengthening your inner masculine you're ready to draw healthy boundaries when you say no it means no you follow through with action so that's more like the emperor energy so in your emotional energy there's a lot of growth a lot of shift and with this action it feels like there's a lot of um, stability in your emotions that I'm picking up is coming to you because we got the release surrender purge dark night of the soul and shadow that's why I was smiling and saying really because again we did get the shadow here in the spiritual energy so this to me is showing that there's a lot of emotional shadow work that you've been doing okay sometimes the shadow work is in our mind like purging of the mindset the negativity and all of that here i'm picking up that there was a lot of heavy purging of your emotions which created that energy of sadness loneliness uh, abandonment rejection all of those okay so i do feel that was creating a big block in your finances and you're feeling so stuck you probably felt like the eight of swords energy where you're feeling stuck you're feeling like i can't move i'm i'm a victim um, I, I just I'm victim of my circumstances so all that has shifted you went through these archetypal energies and you have grown and learned a whole bunch so spirit is also saying in your emotional energy that as you were healing your shadow side okay as you've been healing your shadow side there's a shift in the finances and careers that's taking place all right so right now if you're thinking of love the love situation was not happening, was not manifesting because you were healing a lot of your emotional energy and manifestation, a lot of manifestation, whether it's in romance or in physicality, has a big pocket in the emotions. OK, so if our general emotional energy is in the lower fractal or in the denser energies, it is harder to manifest no matter how many affirmations you say in the mind. The thought is there, but the emotional energy is clogged. So therefore, the manifestation, the the manifestation current cannot come through in the material realm. So I do feel there's been shifting in the spiritual energy, strengthening of the spirit, cleansing up of the mind. Let's clean up the mindset. And then the emotional purging is taking place. That's why that message was coming that there are big success ready to manifest now. So if you haven't watched that video, perhaps it would tie in very well if you watch that. I will link it up for you here so that's what it is again the message of surrender has come in release and surrender okay so the release card came here let me see now then from the romance angels um i was drawn to pick up because many of us are in in 
in relationships, looking to be in a relationship, wanting to see if love is manifesting or love is there. And, you know, so love and love partnership is a big as a part of a human journey. So I wanted to pick up a couple of messages from there. And I got finances and careers. So if the love situation is a bit rocky right now, uh, it is because spirit is helping you to strengthen in the physicality whether you're male or female okay so the focus by spirit with your spiritual energy your higher self god source this is what your plan is at this time so you try to focus on love it's not going to happen i'm just simply going to put it out there because the spirit your your higher self is planning out for you at this stage to bring some movement and shift in your finances and careers so you get that strong footing in the finances and careers okay for whatever your soul path is so the message over here is that focus on you focus on yourself and self-worth okay to me that's what the energy is picking up surrender and let go of when this money will manifest, this wealth will manifest, this rainfall of uh, abundance coming in because you are strengthening in your emotional energy and now you are healing from this purging, right? The purging that's taking place. I actually did about two and a half hours of chanting. I am personally enrolled in a uh, galactic course and uh, we had like a big quantum session last night and when I finished by like midnight I wasn't planning to do this reading till another few more days um, and uh, this morning just as I was beginning the chanting because that chanting was coming up that I must set up chanting as a part of my spiritual practice because that was a strong push and guidance that came in this morning and in the last two days and I was just working on which chants and what my heart heart's desire was saying and in one of those chantings i finished working with all the chakras and putting the energy in all of those chakras with those vibration okay everything's vibration there was i must have cried for i don't know i was probably just sitting right up there hadn't showered and i was just like oh my gosh it was just like rainfall of tears i'm like i have no idea where i'm crying why i'm crying where are those tears it was just the frequency as I'm chanting there were vibrations in the throat there was vibrations and I was beginning to feel like my stomach is just getting like gassy like what's happening I'm not eating anything or what's going on it was a lot of purge going on and then there was just a sudden release and I was fresh and my heart said let's do the reading I'm like okay let me shower, get ready and get started and, you know, prepare for what's meant to come. And then the energy came. We're going to look at all the four systems. OK, so uh, simply that you're going through a purging, you're going through a clearing so that you can be more open to receive that material abundance. Now, with this, we got the energy of romantic feelings. There may be someone you've connected with or in your current relationships. Um, they have romantic feelings okay or you have romantic feelings okay they're real and to me this is also feeling like allow that sense of romance right we got that um little pages we got a lot of pages up here like allow that loving sweet flirtatious energy to come in and allow that because i'm seeing like a, it doesn't have to be male female okay this is gender specific to me this is representation of a coming together of a masculine energy where it's taking action and the feminine energy of receiving so this is to me today in the emotional energy is not speaking of romancing another person but romancing you you know flowers beautifying yourself however you know you feel like pampering yourself that's what i'm feeling okay feelings of ignition of romance or you know whatever that feels like for you cooking a nice meal for you you want to put on uh, beautiful candles to make yourself a priority because we got the card of abandonment maybe you were abandoned in love okay maybe you felt abandoned in love maybe you felt like no one loves me right here you are to love on yourself that's a message 
okay? Because you were healing the shadow sides. Maybe you had those romantic feelings for others and it was unrequited love. So you're healing all of that because it came with the moon. And we did get the moon earlier too in the mind, right? We got the moon in the mind. We got the moon in the emotional energy. So you're definitely healing a lot of your feminine energy. And feminine energy is the one that receives, okay? Masculine is the one who takes action. Feminine is the one who receives. And remember, we talked about the big blessings sitting outside the door, ready to manifest, meaning ready to receive. So your cauldron is being cleansed right now. So that's the message in the emotional energy. Now, the final part of the reading is going to be about on the physicality. What can you do in the physicality, right? Right here and now. Let's have a look at it, okay? For the final part of the reading, let's look at what is it that you can do in the physicality to open your arms to receive the material abundance and the big material wealth that is ready to manifest for you. What can the people do in the physicality, angels? Two messages. <laughs> Two and angels gave me three. Okay. <laughs> What can the people do in the physicality to support their heart's desire right now for this material abundance? Thank you. Since we are, we got three from here, why don't I do three from here also, angels? It's all right. We shall switch it up. I'll take one more. Maybe someone needs to hear something. Thank you. We got another energy of blue. Okay. In the physicality. Ooh la la. Okay. Ooh, I like it. Final one, angels. Final, final. I won't be able to upload the reading then. It'll be so long. It'll be so long, angels. It'll be so long. It'll take me so long. Okay. Thank you, angels. What a blessing, what a blessing, my dears. All right, so we'll go through this fast, okay? Is we've talked about a lot of that. What can you do in the physicality, in the here and now? Number one, I believe, I believe I have talked about this. Well, because you're new to the channel and you've stuck on for what, 50 minutes or so, or 55 almost? Uh, you don't know, but I've mentioned in many of the other videos, one of my favorite movies is The Panda. OK, and he talks about I believe, I believe. And with all belief, it doesn't matter what his body is. He loves karate. He wanted to go there. And that's what he does. He believed in his dream. So in the physicality, belief is very important. Believe that what you are, what this message came in, that this is yours. I claim it. I claim this. So believe it. Claim it. Claim it in this here. Claim it out into the universe. Claim it in the comment section of this video. Claim it in the comment section over there. If you, if that's what your heart's desire is, write it out that I claim this. I claim this. I am worthy of all this abundance flowing into me. I am worthy and I deserve it. I am ready. I am ready, angels. I am ready. Okay, so believe. It says here, I believe that each check I write brings money back to me tenfold. Oh my gosh. Every time you swipe the card or you write a check or you give money to someone. OK, 
Okay, when you're paying your bills, when you're paying something, just say, every time I'm believing that I'm writing and money is flowing out of me, I believe that it is coming to me tenfold. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? So good energy. Bring that energy in. Okay? And um, right with that, we got the lovers. Right? The lovers talks about making heartfelt choices. Remember, love was not on the agenda right now. I'm sorry. Because it was all was big blessings of material wealth that's coming in. So that's what I'm going to focus on. Uh, material security. Okay? It could be a job. It could be an opportunity that comes in. But definitely money flowing in. Not just an opportunity and out there like maybe 20 years down the line that money will come in. It was now, now, now. Okay? Uh, change of status coming in. Make heartfelt choices. Make choices that are heartfelt where you remember i said about heart's desire following your heart's desire okay uh, travel go someplace i'm getting a traveling card too okay go to someplace nice someplace nice no uh scratch that not someplace nice go someplace where your heart uh, asks of you to go okay then in the physicality there are opportunities if you're going to be just stuck in the home like a hermit and i'm under this and i don't want to go anywhere nothing's happening i'm gonna wait and uh um you know archana said in the reading that um the money's flowing in so i'll just wait for it to flow in i'll do nothing i won't move my body i won't do anything no you've got to do it tarot is only showing you what's possible but you've got to make it happen. You've got to take aligned action to it. So opportunity meaning, let's read what it says here. I'm always ready to take advantage of the opportunities presented to me. So being open, if there's an opportunity and in the physicality, it's talking about being open to receive the opportunities. And if there's an opportunity and it gets you to shift your energy, remember we got the, the page of wands energy, like something exciting, something different. So even if it means to push a little bit go out go have fun go do that so something that will shift and move the energy because it'll also help you to move away because this is showing me moving away from some someone you've had a very strong connect with it's part of what it is i'm not going to tell you leave the person do that if that's what you're feeling aligned to then that's what it is something that was where you had put in your heart where you put in your time effort energy you really loved either that job that place uh you know a commitment it just was very unfulfilling that's another big message that came in because there was a con there was a lot of conflict in there so i do see you standing in your power if it was about a relationship okay so there's definitely a walking away from something in the physicality this can also be from things where you let other people drive you okay now you're listening to your heart's desire and following your heart's dreams Okay, you're leaving the conflict behind with the grounding energy. We talked about that. It came in the spiritual energy, it came in the mental body. It came everywhere. Grounding talks about connecting with Mother Earth. I center and ground myself despite the emotional upset around me. I center and ground myself despite the emotional upset around me. So when you're emotionally purging, going, you know, a lot of emotions are coming up, going to nature. It's going to help you to ground the energy. Like that's what I did. I, mean, I'm, I do it in nature anyway. Uh, that's my normal, normal place <laughs> where I end up crying. <laughs> okay, so we got many cards of believe and then it talks about follow your dreams. Okay, we got follow your dreams, follow, 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 follow your dreams. What does that mean in the physicality? You got to believe and you got to take the small steps that you're guided to, an opportunity that comes in to grow, to grow and evolve in your spiritual energy, in your mind, in your experience, follow your dreams. So over here, to follow your dreams, what you need is it's clarified by the King of Swords here, which we also got that energy up here with the King of Forces. So this is again, taking strong energy in your masculine energy. A lot of masculine energy has also come up while you're clearing the emotional energy. The King of Swords is someone who is strong in their mind you're not going to be deterred and we got the twi two queen energies queen of wands and the queen of cups which is emotional energy right all suits okay they're, they're all like your court cards the court cards on the highest of the court cards so reaching a level of mastery of the mental thoughts reaching a level of mastery in the emotional energy so stand for what you believe in speak your truth communicate honestly on the physical level okay hold on to what you believe in stand for honesty truth and justice i will not compromise my values i will not compromise what i stand for 
the queen of wands the king of the king king of swords speaks the truth delivers the truth and is not afraid i need to use my sword to cut some things out baby i will do it i'm not afraid so the king is a place of authority in the authority we talked a whole bunch of it in the reading okay because when you take mastery of the mind it is going to get you to and having faith in your dream having faith that this is what my dream is i don't need for you to believe in it i need for me to believe in it so that's what you do in the physicality whatever you need to do take control of the mind is what's coming take control of the mind and keep your dream and your goal in mind keep the big vision and then follow it follow it take guided steps speak appropriately speak the right things into the universe speak um success into the universe into the world uh you're taking care of your emotional energy okay we're talking about with the grounding where there's been a lot of push and pull factors and conflict you're moving away from conflict okay so this is another thing that you can do do you need to have the last word is it worth it to put my energy in to come back into that repetitive cycle of ah I need to just tell that person, you know, they were just so wrong and I want to say it because they were wrong. I don't care if they're wrong or right because I do this. You know, I, I want to prove myself because they're really wrong and it angers me like how can they so so what are they doing? They're triggering that part within me that is not choosing peace. Choose peace. Choose peace. You don't need to prove yourself to anyone. Choose peace. Choose love as your guiding force. Choose peace, okay? So that's what's coming very strongly. Then be patient in the physicality, okay? Cuz we got the six of pentacles. I told you that big blessings is coming in. So when the emotional energy tends to be like oh my god i'm getting this inner conflict or we got the seven of swords the mind starts to create this self sabotaging uh 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 take control of your mind that's what in the physicality you can do take control of your mind whatever you need to do you need to ground you need to go you know skydiving you need to go take a swim in the in the ocean or you know i don't know a boogie board or whatever you guys like to do just something that's going to shift the energy or you want to go in for a healing circle you want to go in for healing because that's what's coming up over here so in the physicality you are learning to to create strong structures and boundaries for yourself be disciplined okay honor your word and with the healing and the emperor card what's actually happening i'm picking up is that you are with that orphan energy you never really learned in your past you never saw a role model who was strong authoritative and positive and loving you probably had like if a, a a figure or you watched authority figures who were overbearing and who were in the distorted masculine energy they were over controlling and uh, you were healing that so in the physicality perhaps it's time spirit is saying that you can consider taking some healing journeys you know doing energy healing energy cleanse sound baths working with an energy healer uh you know uh grounding yourself doing it yourself listening to uh music that is uh, very healing is going to help you to bring healing to this father element okay and for those of you who felt like you were not supported by your father okay definitely a father father figure uh you were not supported or, or you had you know orphaned and you didn't have a father uh you are learning to be your own father you're learning to uh, protect yourself you're learning to stand up for yourself you're learning to see what i value not what others are telling me what to do so these are the steps that you can take right now which will support you to materialize this big blessings that is coming your way Wow. <laughs> That's what I have for you, my dear friends. Uh if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Comment, share this video. I appreciate it with all my heart. Thank you for all my regular uh subscribers and all my beautiful people who have created this community. And if you'd like to work with me one-on-one on, -one on uh, your mindset, I'm a mindset coach. I am an energy healer. I am a spiritual coach, a spiritual guide, and I work with balancing 
the masculine and the feminine energies through meditations, through classes, through coaching, through affirmations, and much more. And I am in the works of getting my website together. And I'm excited. So I've got to say it in every video because every day I sit down and I think about it. Except today. Today was all chanting and uh, releasing the emotions. And then I'm here. Okay. So uh, I'll work on it this evening. So I'm excited. So uh, if you need to connect with me by the time that website is being done behind the scenes, you can email me and uh, we can go from there. Sending you love and light and I will catch you in my next video. Keep the vibes high and tell me when all this thing manifests for you because I'm excited for you. All right. Love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.